What's up guys, Barry here with another machine tutorial. And in today's video, we're jumping into the software to look at 25 keyboard shortcuts that you can use when working inside a machine. Do note that despite me using a Mac keyboard, I will also be showing the PC equivalent for these shortcuts. And in addition, down in the description, you'll find a downloadable document that you can use with these shortcuts on it. So to get started guys, let's look at some single key keyboard shortcuts inside a machine. So the first one is M. M will engage or disengage your metronome. The second shortcut is S. S will open or close your sample editor. To toggle between sound and group, your shortcut will be the letter D. To switch from pattern editor to piano roll, your shortcut is the letter W. The letter E will switch your cursor from a pointer to a pencil. The last letter shortcut is the letter L. L will engage or disengage your loop. So now we'll move on to some window shortcuts. Pressing tab or command three will open up your mixer window. Pressing command one will open up the idea window and command two will open up your song window. On a Mac, Pressing Fn will enable your function keys. So F4 will open or close your browser. And while we're on function keys, F12 will open or close your control lane down on the bottom. The last window shortcut we'll look at is command up or down. That will allow you to zoom in or zoom out of your pattern window. All right guys, so halfway through these machine software keyboard shortcuts, and if this is bringing you value, please hit that thumbs up button. Now we'll move on to some record shortcuts. A very basic but essential for me to mention shortcut is Spacebar. Spacebar will play or stop your song. If you wanna play your song from the beginning, you're gonna press Option Spacebar. And our third Spacebar shortcut is Shift Spacebar. That will arm or disarm your record function. So the next keyboard shortcuts are gonna require some notes. So if you double click in your pattern window, you'll get some notes and heading down to the bottom left to re-engage our grid. Our next keyboard shortcut is option Q for a full quantize. Our next keyboard shortcut will require us to move our note off the grid again. And that keyboard shortcut is shift option Q. That will result in 50% quantize. Shift option Q for 50% quantize. If you're looking for a shortcut to turn your grid on and off, that keyboard shortcut is the number zero. There are also keyboard shortcuts to change your grid values. So numbers one through eight will get you from one bar grid all the way to a 128th note grid. And if you require a grid that represents triplets, holding shift plus numbers one through seven will allow you to adjust your grid to the required triplet value. So to toggle between your sounds, you're gonna press up and down with your arrows. If you wanna select multiple sounds, you're gonna hold shift. So holding shift plus up and or down will allow you to select multiple sounds. If you wanna change where your notes land on the bar, pressing alt plus left or right will allow you to nudge your MIDI notes based on time. And if you wanna change the actual notes of your MIDI, pressing Alt up or down will allow you to nudge your MIDI notes up or down a semitone. Keyboard shortcut Command R will allow you to rename the last sound that you were on. So keyboard shortcut number 25 is a group of key commands that are used not just in machine, but in any DAW and any software. So Command A would select all, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, Command X to delete, and Command Z to undo. And that there guys are 25 keyboard shortcuts inside of the machine software. And if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button to let us know that this video brought value to you. Down in the comments, let us know what keyboard shortcuts you're using. And of course, subscribe.